Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Silvanus Okoyo Mwabeze. In today's class, I will teach you guys approximation and estimation. I will start with approximation. I will take the students on, on decimal places and significant figures. A good number of students have issues with significant figures and decimal places. At times, when you set the question on decimal places, they will use the concept of significant figures to treat it and vice versa. So as a result of this, a lot of students have called my attention to do a video with regards to that. You have to understand that when we are dealing with significant, uh, when we are dealing with uh, decimal places, we care more about the decimals. So in case you don't know the meaning of decimal, a decimal means a number that have that have a decimal point. If I give you something like this, 4.5, this is a decimal. If I give you 45, 45 is not a decimal. So what makes this to be a decimal is because of this point, and the point is called decimal point. So that is just it. So imagine when you are giving 4.671619. So this number is too much. It is too much. But the question is, since you have been given this number, your teacher might not really be interested in seeing all this. As a result of that, mathematicians decided to come up with approximation. And the essence of approximation is, you that is a student, you should try to limit. We may not be interested in seeing this. All we care is, we just want to see from here to here. If you can give us this, we are okay with this. That's having 4.67 as the answer. That is why you will be forced to approximate. Anytime you are asked to approximate or to round up, just know that nobody wants to see what the entire number given to you. We just want you to limit it to, what, to a specific word numbers. But your ability to understand how to limit it is what this topic is all about. All right, so in that order, I will go ahead to explain decimal words, places. So imagine when you are giving this question to, to work on. If I give you guys this, I say approximate, approximate that 8.4619 to two decimal Places. So this is a question. The question says approximate this to two decimal places. It means I don't want to see the entire number, but you, you can't just cut it without following the rules. Now you just have to write a solution. After you must have written this solution, bring the question down. We have 38, that's 8.4619. This is a question I've not done anything to it yet. Now, what are we supposed to do? Your interest is to locate. If you want to solve this, first of all, go and locate the decimal point. Look at the decimal point here. This is the decimal point. When you locate this decimal point, we've located it here. Now, the question says, to two decimal places, which means count two numbers after the decimal place. We can't be counting like this. After means like this, towards this. So the two numbers after the decimal place are 1, 4, and 6. That's 1, 2. So here I will stop. I can use an arrow to indicate that. Since I have stopped, the next question I should ask myself is the next number after where I am supposed to stop. I am supposed to stop at 6. But the next number after 6 is 1. I have to put asterisks. Putting asterisks there means that I want to compare, I want to find out something. Now you ask yourself, this one here, is it up to five? You know that one is not up to five. If it's not up to five, what you're going to do is to round down. And round down means don't add anything. Just write the entire number, just write the number how it's supposed to be. Now we are going to get 38.46. So this is the answer. This answer is shortened more than this. Supposing this one was up to 5, we would have taken 1 and add towards 6 to make it 7. But it's not up to. 
Now, look at the next question. I will give you to approximate. I say approximate 471.8793 to to I say one decimal place. Right solution. After we must have written this solution, the next we ought to do is to bring the question down, which is 471.8793. When we must have done this, we now check. We are asked to approximate to one decimal place. Now it means the first step to take is to locate the decimal point. This is the decimal point. So it means count one number immediately after the decimal place. The first number there is 8. So which means this is where we're supposed to stop. But immediately I put this arrow, the next thing that should come to my mind is, what is the next number immediately where I'm supposed to stop? I'm supposed to stop at 8, but the next number after 8 is 7. I have to put my asterisk. Now this my asterisk, I would then ask myself a question. This 7 here, is it up to 5? You and I know that 7 is up to, 7 is even more than 5. Since 7 is up to 5, what we are supposed to do, we take 1 and add 2. Where are we supposed to stop? Where are we supposed to stop? We are supposed to stop at 8. Then when we add 1 to 8, we have 4, 7, 1 point 9. So this is the answer. So this is another example, approximate 0 0.618 to two decimal places. Now when you look at this, you are going to get, you just write solution. After solution, you bring down the question. So the first thing you do is to, you have to count, you have to first of all indicate the decimal point, this decimal point. Since we have known the position of decimal point, our interest is to check the question. The question says two decimal places. So which means we are supposed to stop. When we count two numbers immediately after the decimal point. This decimal point, because of these two, I have to count two numbers. One and two. So this one, this is where I'm supposed to stop. Now, the next number after where I am supposed to stop, the next number after 1 is 8. I put my asterisk. So I ask myself, this 8, is it up to 5? Of course, 8 is up to 5. Since 8 is up to 5, what I will do is to take 1 and add to where I am supposed to stop. I'm supposed to stop at 1. So when I add 1 to 1, I have 0 0.62. This is the answer. Now, I could go on to even say Randolph. I could say Randolph. This is another way the question could come in form of Randolph. Whether it is Randolph, approximate, or correct, these terms or the terminologies are absolutely the same in as much as approximation is concerned. So we say approximate, let us say 923 point, we have um, 1645. Approximate this to, to three decimal places. Now we write solution. We must have done this, we bring the question down. The question is 923.1645. As expected, our focus, our interest is to first of all get the position of the decimal point. This is the position of the decimal point. Then we'll count, we'll go here, this is three. We are supposed to count three numbers immediately after the decimal point. We'll have one, six, and six. So, the four, this four 
is a third number immediately after the decimal point. So we use arrow. Now we ask ourselves, the next number after we are supposed to stop is 5. We ask ourselves, this 5, is it up to 5? Of course, 5 is up to 5. Since 5 is up to 5, we take 1 and add to where we're supposed to stop. We're supposed to stop at 4. The answer will now be 723.165. So this is the answer. So this is another example. Here, you have, a top, you have approximate 0 0.7146 to two decimal places. Write solution. Bring the question down, 0 0.7146. The first thing we do is to locate the position of the decimal point. This decimal point. Now, we we'll count two numbers immediately after the decimal point. So we we'll have this and this. We're supposed to stop at 1. Now, the next is we we'll ask ourselves what is the next number immediately after where we're supposed to stop? The next number is 4. We we'll ask ourselves. Is this 4 up to what 5? Since 4 is now up to 5, we are going to round down. Round down. What does round down mean? Round down means do not add anything or add 0 to where you're supposed to stop. We are supposed to stop at 1. If we add 0 to 1, we still get 1. So our answer is nothing but 0 0.71. Now, even if I give you to correct, I can give you to correct, this is R, correct, 4, 6, points, alright, 0, 9, 7, 6, to one decimal place. Write solution, bring the number down. Well, bring the number down. It's going to look like this. As expected, all we need to do is count one number immediately after, we, after the decimal was placed. So, like this, we we'll put our arrow there. We we'll put our arrow there. We we'll ask ourselves, what's the next number after we are supposed to stop? The next number is 9. Then, is this 9 up to 5? 9 is up to 5, we take 1 and add to where we're supposed to start. So when we add 9 to 1 to 0, we're going to get 46.1. So this is the answer.